Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout 3. In our last video I did end the day in my fancy apartment in Megaton, but today we are going to head out to the Canterbury Commons, if I have that name correct, so that we can see what's going on there because Three Dog has said there are things going on out there. Th things, things between two masked, I don't know, people, creatures, things. Somebody's with robots and ants, and it sounds sounds like somebody's causing some issues. But let's head out to the Canterbury Commons and and see what we can figure out, find out, talk to, or all of all of the above, perhaps. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh! Look, Mr. Sentrybot. I was minding my own business. Oh no, where's my hat? Ouch. And your stupid missiles and your stupid self and your stupid stupids. Where's my hat? My hat is why I was doing less damage. There we go, all better. Oh, I think in the last video I... What is it with my sent these sentry bots? Listen, leave me alone. Look at my face, <laughs> the face. It's like, oh no. Um, I can I not, there we go. Fix the leg, fix the whole body. That was not how I really wanted to start my day today, but I'll take the electron charge bags. Although I do need to fix my weapons. Let's put um, my Gatling laser at two, and then I should be able to repair that one. And then I really, I don't really need to repair that one. I just, I just wanted to go wandering and then these silly little robots. Is this a sign of what's to come when I get to the Canterbury Commons? Let's see if Three Dog has anything else to say. Probably just music. Oh, my schematics for my dark gun. I feel like I already had the schematics for the dark gun, but probably wrong. Yep, just music. Unfortunate. Is that out off there in the distance, perhaps? I did notice when I was looking at the map that there's a, a Vault 108 over here. We'll probably do these areas here. I wonder how much, so I was talking about having the Canterbury Commons, something to do with ants, and there's an ant agonizer's lair, and something to do with robots, and there's a robot repair center. So I wonder how much those three have to do with each other. But there's a vault down there. There's a vault. I don't have a quest to go there, but we may just go there to see what kind of nonsense was happening in that vault. And to see if there's any fancy loot, perhaps, maybe, perhaps. It could be a thing. I see robots over there in the distance fighting scorpions, it looks like. Cows that are penned in, so... And didn't my robot friend, Sergeant, say that he was coming? I'm trying to figure out how to get up here. It looks like this way might be easiest. Coming to Canterbury Commons? I feel like I said that in the last video and I'm not sure how accurate that was. It was. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't so busy rambling to myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Robots scare the crap out of me. Death claws literally sneaking up on me. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I said in the last video that Sergeant was going to go to the Canterbury Commons. I'm, I think that's what he said, but I'm not sure how accurate that was. Oh, look, there's a vendor, it looks like, maybe, perhaps. Another glorious day in this man's army. 
Is it my sergeant? Another it is my sergeant! In this man's army. Hi! Here to pick up a few of my marvelous toys. Lucky Harith? Looking to trade? Maybe? Can you repair something? Easy. Uh, I don't need any of those repaired. Okay, bye. Keep your skills sharp and your eyes peeled, all right? All right, I got it. Hey there. Hi. Your face is a little dirty, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to do like I did the last time when I was like at the Oasis and wait until morning. Just so that people might be out and about and where they're supposed to be. And Mabel is so skilled at standing up and sleeping. I feel like I have to take advantage of it every once in a while. There we go. And a different vendor. Crazy Wolfgang. Uh, let's save. Let's, let's save. Well, there's some graphics for you. I feel like that's not supposed to be like that. Hang on, let me, let me reload. That doesn't seem right. Okay, that's better. I was like, that seems not normal. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forth, my steadfast creations. Show these vermins humanity's true power. Face it, Mechanus. Humans and their toys are done for. They killed themselves off with their petty wars. Humans may be weak sometimes, but our creations are strong and pure. Something you'll never be. Fool! Humanity's creations were the seeds of their undoing. And now, the world will belong to the Antagonizer! Are you all right? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. <laughs> Name's Ro. Uncle Ro to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons, for what that's worth. Isn't there a DLC in Fallout 4, the Mechanist, the Mechanist, or something like that? I don't remember, but that sounds familiar. What was that all about? Who were those people? You seem to be pretty calm considering there was just a war in your streets. I'm just passing through. Don't bug me with your, pro don't bug me with your, get it? Bug me with your problems. I got it. Uh, what was that all about? Who were those people? The, um, mechanist and the ant agonizer. <laughs> That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. Kind of. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer, that woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Why would the ant lady attack your town? That doesn't sound very nice. I might be able to help. How much would a solution be worth it to you? I don't give a damn. I'm interested in finding supplies. I I'll help. Of course I'll help. Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. <laughs> knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility and you'll earn 200 caps. Wow. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Double that, you've got yourself a deal. Uh, we can try it. Mm, you drive yes. a hard bargain, friend. <laughs> but seeing how we haven't been able to solve the problem ourselves, fine. You've got a deal, but I expect results. Okay. Oh, and please do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in our streets. We don't need another. <laughs> Can I ask you more about the antagonizer and the mechanist? The superhuman gambit. I mean, they were like, I think I even said in the last video, it sounded like they were masked, not superheroes, but masked something, and they are masked something. But let's ask more about them. If it'll help, I'm glad to. What can you tell me about the ant agonizer? Now, one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth, stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. <laughs> gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, it got real nasty. Huh. What can you tell me about the mechanist? 
The mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town until it got torn up in one of the Ant Agonizer's lame little attacks. <laughs> I guess he took it personal because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the Mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. Know anything else that could help me stop them? My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. Okay. Enough about them. I most heartily agree. <laughs> can I get some directions around town? All right. You're the boss. Where can I get some food? You'll want to talk with Joe Porter over in Dot's Diner. I don't know who Dot was, but I'm sure Porter's food does her memory proud. Where do the caravans set up? I mean, out front, Abel, we just saw two of them. When they're in town, you can find the caravan trader out front of the town. They say it's a good way to catch a visitor's eye. Enjoy! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, good. <laughs> what can you tell me about Canterbury Comets? Ha! Damn near everything, I suspect. I founded the place myself, and I'm the oh. reason this place stays fat and happy. Why do traders come here? Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans, known most of them my whole life. I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. How organized are the traders? They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. Hmm. Have you thought about organizing the traders into a unified group? I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. Ooh, am I up to the task? Oh, I'm sure a charismatic fellow like you can get them to follow your lead. Mabel, the greatest flirt in the capital wasteland. Madam, you flatter me. <laughs> I'm but a humble man of this small community. <laughs> Since it's a trader community, I suppose I can call in a few favors with the caravans. I suppose I am rather persuasive in that way. <laughs> so you just let me know what you'd like to see from the caravans, and I'll let them know what to focus on. Oh my god! <laughs> a merchant contract caravan trade route? I mean, Mabel, the greatest flirt ever to exist. Do you have traders that deal with miscellaneous goods? That'd be Crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk dealer. As he says, he's overjoyed to assist those who have a deep need for his... <laughs> junk. He's just like that. Says it catches people's attention. Hmm. Can he offer a wider variety of junk? With an investment of about 200 caps, I'm sure he could improve the quality of his materials, or at least offer more of them. Sure. Excellent. I'll see to it right away. He should offer even more junk? At this point, it would require another pack Brahmin to carry his wares. But for 500 caps, I think he could offer more. Sure. Isn't it, though? I'll inform Wolfgang immediately. I'm gonna run out of money. He should expand his wares further? At the moment, Wolfgang's practically carrying an entire junkyard with him. Anything more, and he'll have trouble with the traveling part of being a traveling salesman. <laughs> Enough about that. Sure thing. Let's talk about weapons. Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harith, adventurer, martial artist, and occasional collector of the most deadly items known to mankind. He's a bit of an eccentric, but he deals in more weaponry than you can shake a sharp stick at. In fact, he's probably got a sharp stick, too. He should expand his inventory. Harith's got quite a lot of weapons, but I'm sure he could improve his stock. An investment of 200 caps should see to that nicely. Excellent! Harith will be delighted! He usually is by most things, really. <laughs> if Harith were a less reputable man, I'm sure he could use his armory to collect even more weapons. But he's a merchant, not a raider. So it's legitimate means only. Like a legitimate investment of 500 caps. Am I going to invest in all of them? Obviously, I have so much money. 
An investment in weaponry is usually returned in short order, after all. I'll inform Harith. That simply isn't feasible, I'm afraid. Oh. Harith's gear already rivals some mercenary armies. Anything further would be asking for trouble. Okay, enough about that. Sure thing. Let's talk about armor. Our man Crow handles most armor and clothing out on the trail. He grew up a tribal, but he traded in his loincloth for much snappier apparel long ago. <laughs> it takes a fair amount of capital to expand into higher quality material, you know. Improving Crow's wardrobe would require a one-time investment of, say, 200 caps. One time? I feel like I'm still going to invest 500 Excellent. more. Excellent. I'll send word to Crow right away. Crow's armor is already rather extensive, but I'm sure it could be even more impressive for a one-time investment of 500 caps. Okay. Isn't it, though? I'll send this right along to Crow. At this point, the merchandise of our man Crow is the best in the wasteland. I fear it's beyond improvement with further investments. Okay, enough about him. Sure th so... Food and chems? Ah, then you'll be wanting Doc Hoff, or the good doctor, as he prefers. Hm. He prescribes everything from a good meal to stim packs to things that'll make your brain get up and dance. The good doctor's lab equipment isn't cheap. It'll cost about 200 caps for him to offer higher quality material. Excellent. I'll Excellent. send word to the good doctor right away. I'm interested to see what their inventories are going to be now. At this point, it would be hard to improve Doc's medicine cabinet without a significant investment. Say 500 caps should suffice for him to offer a whole cornucopia of pharmacopia. Pharmacopia. Isn't it, though? I'll send it this is. right along to him. As much as it hurts me to say it, there's really only so much that money can buy. The good doctor's supply cannot be improved at this point. Okay. Sure. So I've done... What sort of... De sure. Weapons, armor, food, and chems. I'm sure... Odds and ends. Odds. Um... Enough about the traders. Uh, Anything to trade around here? You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Okay, and then can you repair something for me? We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. I'll see what I can do. And I don't need anything. Okay, I have to go. Good luck with those two troublemakers. Mm-hmm. Before we go and talk to people in town, let's go over here and talk to, I think it was Herleth, uh, I think he's the weapons guy. And let's see what his new inventory allegedly looks like. Nope, uh, oh, it's Wolfgang. Tra I hear you're the one who's so deeply invested in my junk. Not as deeply as me, of course, but who is, really. I picked up some stealth boys the other day and they seemed like just the way to thank you for your investment. Kudos. Oh, thank you. Where to buy? Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. I mean... You, you, you don't really have... much of anything. I'm really disappointed. Good luck out there. And maybe next time, you'll find something interesting for me, huh? It, okay. Like, that wasn't really, like, a great investment. I didn't get much out of it, but fine, whatever. Who's this nice lady here? When you find those two costume idiots, put a bullet in their heads for me. Her name is Machete. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to say hi. I'm new in town. What is this place? Watch your attitude. It'll get you in trouble. Let's try the middle one. This is Canterbury Commons, where dirty old ledgers get rid of everything they picked up on the road. Unless it's not treatable, that is. And I'm Machete. Dom and me make sure nobody starts anything stupid in town. Keep that in mind, okay? Pretty sure it's I'll, I'll, I can start stupid stuff if I want to. But do you know anything about the antagonizer or the mechanist? I know Dom doesn't want me just killing them. He and the mechanist used to be friends or something. <laughs> All I know is, next time they come to town, I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. I mean, that would be the obvious thing to do, or the easiest thing to do, probably. Can I get some directions around town? 
busy. Go ask someone else. Okay. <laughs> what can you tell me about Canterbury Comets? This whole place would fall apart if it weren't for Dom and me keeping anyone from causing too much trouble. Fat old Roe may think he runs the place, but it's only because Dom lets the idiot. I need to find this Dom person. Okay, I guess I'm going. <clears throat> she just uh at me. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you are whatever uncle... you can do to help our town. We'd appreciate it. Your uncle Ro, and this is Dot's diner. This is Any ch... luck finding those two troublemakers? Either? I haven't even started to look, but I promise I will. Just stumbled into town. He sure picked a fine day for it with the crazies out there. Right. Here, have a drink on the house. Thanks. Welcome to Canterbury. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure folks around here can get a meal when they need it. Thanks, Joe. Looks like a pretty nice place here. Pretty trusting of you. How do you know I'm not here to cause trouble? Unpurified water? I'm insulted. <laughs> First one. We do our best. Well, Dom and Roe do their best. I just make sure they've got enough food so they can keep on doing their best. You ever find yourself starving around here, drop by Dot's Diner. We don't charge much, but don't expect any more freebies. Of your unpurified water? I'm, I'm fine with that. Do you know anything about the antagonizer or the mechanist? You mean apart from having cheesy names? <laughs> Actually, I think I might know something useful. Oh, really? One of the traders told me she sounded like a girl he used to know. Girl's whole family was wiped out by ants. Not long before she showed up here. But they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer. Huh. Can I get some directions? Sure thing. Where are you headed? You certainly came to the right person. What okay. do you like? I, I want to sell the crappy water you just gave me. How about how about that dirty water? I'm, I, I'm good. Thanks. And the caravan set out up front, but... They usually it. sell their stuff out front of the town. Never seem to stick around for long, though. No. They... I swear... Those boys can't tolerate staying in one place for too long. I mean, they wouldn't be a trade caravan if they stayed in one spot, would they? See you around. Oh, but can you tell me about Canterbury Commons? Best place I ever worked in. And I guess I've worked about everywhere there is. Really? We get some weird types passing through, but it's stable enough for a guy to make an honest living. I don't really see what more a man could ask for. I don't know. Okay, then Only the best. Right there, and pick and from the wastes. Go. Bye. Fine. Okay. Oh, here's the kid I need to talk to. Hello, Derek. Yeah. Oh, man. Did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, fear me. But the mechanist was all, stop, evildoer. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. What can you tell me about them? This is serious business. You could get hurt. What do you know about them? Are those jokers for real? What's up with the silly costumes? Um, let's try the first one. The antagonizer, she's this evil supervillain who's trying to wipe out humans with her ants. And the mechanist protects us with his robots. Mm. And when they fight in town, it's incredible. <laughs> There's all these lasers and biting and blood and it's crazy. Wow. And then my uncle says I need to stay inside. He says it's dangerous. This is serious business, Derek. <laughs> Life around here is pretty hard, huh? These guys must really liven the place up, huh? Anyone ever get hurt? You're insane, kid. Uh, let's do the second one. You think they're neat too, huh? It's not like they ever hurt anyone. Well, not like really badly hurt or anything. Oh. Dom and Machete make sure that everyone gets inside when they fight like that. Though, sometimes I sneak out to watch. The traitors and the slavers and the raiders, they don't like the antagonizer or the mechanist. They say they're bad for business. But that's dumb. The ants and the robots whip them to shreds. That shows them. We've just been talking about traitors, but now you're talking about slavers and raiders. What, what, what do you know about the antagonizer and the mechanist? You mean the superheroes? Yeah. I'll try to watch all of their fights. What can you tell me about the antagonizer? I don't know much about her, except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. 
I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city. I've seen her aunts down there once in a while. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says don't encourage the poor boy. Yeah, it seems like the aunt agonizer was... Her family was killed by ants, but now she's friends with them? That, that seems strange. What can you tell me about the mechanist? I knew the mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot, and I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Ever since then, he's been up on his forge in the back of the robot shop on the hill, working to protect us all from the antagonizer. Uh, so it's your fault, is what you're saying. <laughs> know anything else that can help me stop them? No way! Don't stop them, they're awesome! <sighs> Unless, maybe you're going to be a superhero too. I mean... You could be called Super Humongous what? and fight them with an army of super mutants! Are you saying I'm fat or something, or it's just because I'm so much taller than you? Well, okay. What can you tell me about Canemir Commons? It's okay, I guess. I heard it's safer than most places, because the raiders don't bother us. But I've never been anywhere else, so I don't know. I've never been anywhere else, so I can't really say, but yeah, it's okay. Can I get some directions around town? Uncle Roe and I live in the Old Town Hall, and Mr. Porter runs the diner across the street. It's not really a big place, you know? Hmm. Say hi to the mechanist for me. Yeah, okay. And then there was... Dom. I know there's some place on the right that I could go into, but I want to... Door to Dominic and Machete's house. Are you Dominic? We appreciate you taking care of our town's little problem. Newcomer to town, huh? Well, I'm Dominic D'Alessandro, and welcome to Canterbury Commons. Try to ignore the idiots in the costumes. <laughs> Popular activities around town are trading, listening to row yap, and burying thieves in unmarked graves. Okay. Of course, we ran out of thieves to bury long ago. Saw to it myself. Might be a dead art. Unless you're planning on stealing anything. Uh, you're not gonna catch me. <laughs> no worries, I wasn't planning on stealing anything. Do you personally threaten every visitor to your town? Maybe I could introduce a new pastime. Shooting nosy guards in the face. I mean, I... Oh, I gotta do a, an evil let's play just once. <laughs> let's do the middle one, though. When I can find time for it, sure. In the gardening business, it's the personal touches that make all the difference. <laughs> anyway, welcome to town. Don't cause trouble. Threats of violent justice, so on, so forth. You look like you know the drill. Okay. What do you know about the antagonizer and the mechanist? Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time to do it myself. It's easy enough to hide inside when those two square off. But they're only getting worse about it all. What can you tell me about the antagonizer? I don't know who she is other than a crazy with an ant suit and a chip on her shoulder for humanity. <laughs> she wasn't much trouble by herself, really. Her attacks were a joke, but at least stories of her kept some of the raiders at bay. If it helps, she was always attacking from the Warrens up north. Maybe you can find her ant nest in there. I do wonder, if I get rid of the ant agonizer and the mechanist in some way, shape, or form, are raiders now going to attack Canterbury Commons? You mean Scott Walensky? I refuse to call him by that ridiculous name just because <laughs> his head got a screw loose. He used to be a damn good friend, and not just because he fixed my guns up. Now he spends all his time up in that bot shop just thinking about fighting that ant agonizer. Hardly even recognizes his own name anymore. Do you know anything else that could help me stop them? If you could just make either one of them stop fighting, it'd do the trick. You probably wouldn't have to worry about the other one. I can't imagine Scott attacking the town with his robots, and that ant agonizer girl was never much more than a sideshow freak by herself. Ro may prefer that you're thorough, but all I care about is that you get the job done, one way or the other. Well, we're definitely going to go to both places. Fine by me. Because I kind of want to know why she was attacking them in the first place. What do you want to... Mm, can you tell them about Canterbury Commons? Canterbury is a good town. Rose done a damned good job setting up the place, and no one can handle the day-to-day -day details like him. 
But when it comes to the big stuff, that's when he needs a little help. That's where I come in. What do you mean, the big stuff? Life and death matters. Putting down thieves. Protecting people from raiders who are short-sighted or stupid enough to attack. That sort of thing. Pretty much. Anything the man can't solve by talking at it. And don't misunderstand. He can solve a lot of things that way. How did you get this position? I'm about the rarest thing out here in the wastes. A mercenary who lived long enough to retire. I used to sell my services around here, so it was a natural place to settle down. Not a bad sort of retirement, honestly. Okay, that's enough. If you're done asking questions, I'm sure there's something I should be keeping an eye on. Okay, bye. I'll be watching you. Okay, great. You'll be watching me. Save, I'm gonna go into your house and look through all your stuff. Cause apparently it's not stealing. Do you guys sleep in the bathroom? No, you just have a bathroom. I should probably turn on my light. And more ammo. Wow, pretty big place you got. I don't think I wanna take your plates. Ooh, Dean's electronics, I can sell that. I mean, I only have how much money left? I only have 12,897 caps left. I'm really struggling right now. <laughs> what did that say? Highwayman's friend? What? Huh. Must be a unique tire iron, I guess. A bloody knife. Lovely. That's outside. Anything else? Like the colas. Okay. Oh, he's going to sleep already? All right. I mean, it's daytime outside. I didn't think it was sleeping time. Okay, let me go into... This, I'm guessing, it looks like a firehouse. With all the, I was gonna say garage doors, but the garage doors, you know? Anything here? Nope. Whatever this. you can do to help our town, we'd appreciate it. Okay. Bathroom. Storage. Oh, 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 ammo. Microfusion cells. Whatever you can do to help our town, we'd appreciate it. Okay. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Lucky Harvath's local, Harith's local inventory. Joe Porter's safe. Doc Hoff's local inventory. Crow's local inventory. Crazy Wolfgang's local inventory. I want all of this stuff. Okay, hang on. He doesn't have any of the Whatever keys you can on do him. To help our town, we'd appreciate it. All right. Well, I will. I will start that process tomorrow because I'm pretty much at a stopping point. So yeah, tomorrow I think we'll start going to the. Ant Agonizer's lair and see what she's all about. And then if there's time, we'll go to the Mechanist's lair, even though it's not called a lair, and see what he's all about. And, well, I don't know. Depending on how that goes, we'll either kill them both, kill neither of them, or kill one of them, or, or one of those options. I'm officially rambling, and now I need to stop. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 3 video. Thank <laughs> you.